Chips's tooth composition is ideal for biting down onto meat and swallowing Chuck's hole. Is it Chuck? It's, Chuck it's Chuck's not, hole. It's ideal for swallowing Ooh. Chuck's. Oh, poor Chuck. I feel, I feel bad for I Chuck. I hope his meat snake is okay. <laughs> And welcome to GT Not Live, where I hope you're hungry, because we're diving in for more of a meat buffet. Oh my gosh, Tom, what are Hi. you doing here, and why are you in a different outfit? Well, I'm here, Matt, because I have a very important message for you. What is your very important message, Tom? I need to tell you about how Air Up changed my life. <laughs> Air Up, our sponsor for today's episode, changed your life? It absolutely did. How did it do that? Well, you see, Matt... I don't know, you might have this problem as well. I hate water. Water is so boring. Up top, hashtag relatable time. Uh, so no, well, I, I do not drink enough. Yeah. My wife, Steffi, is constantly trying to feed me water and she comes back in, the, the glass is still full. It, it is never, it is never a thing. A lot of interesting pictures running through my mind about <laughs> Steffi trying to feed you water, but sure, yeah, we're gonna move but forward. But it's a thing, I, I, and so I, but it, I just don't like the flavor. I like the fact there is no flavor. So, <laughs> exactly, it's boring, but then you lean into sodas and all those things which are not very good for you. However, AirUp has solved that problem because of their wonderful flavor pods. Really? Yes. Well, tell me about that, Tom. Well, you see, I have never heard of this miracle product before. <laughs> You've never heard of this? No. No, of course. I have never heard of AirUp. <laughs> never heard of AirUp. <laughs> this miracle product before. So please tell no, me how but, it works. But, but therefore, you know. You know how clever this is. I do know. Because it's just, like, I can smell this from here. I can too. <laughs> it's really strong. It is very strong. Which is great, but it's, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> which is great because the whole thing is it's obviously based around scent. Yeah. And using the scent from these yeah. wonderful pods yes. to infu essentially infuse your water with, with flavor, but not. <laughs> Trying to describe this actually it's, in real time no, is quite hard. Right? It's, <laughs> right? It's actually really tricky because you're talking about giving your water flavor, but there is no flavor. It is purely being flavored through scent. Absolutely. It tricks yeah. your brain, right? Yeah, because, you know, what is it, 80% of your taste is flavor? Or sure. 80% of your taste 100 is 100% of flavor. stats that are made up in the moment are definitely true. <laughs> No, but a large portion of your flavor sense of taste is made up by smell. That is correct. And so that's what this is doing. Right? What are the great flavors of air up that you like? Well, so the first one I really loved, I had peach flavor, okay. which is gr a great choice. Watermelon, mm -hmm. really strong. Oh my gosh, watermelon is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Well, watermelon is water primarily anyway. So the, f the flavor it adds. <laughs> and this is why he's on the game channel. Exactly. The no, no. But water <laughs> in watermelon. Melon. <laughs> Water, but that's water. What, hey, that's <laughs> just a theory. <laughs> but that is why the flavor works. Yeah. That's why it works so well it in does. this thing because it it's just well. adding that that bit you need. I'm to usually make not even a watermelon guy, and I love the watermelon. No, but then the flavor I've got here is the orange vanilla swirl. I'll admit that is not my favorite. No, it's very potent. It I will give you that. Potent. But you see, it reminds me there's a um, a different, uh, there's an ice cream, which is like an orange vanilla ice cream in the UK. Yeah. And so that's what it reminds me of, eating those when I was a kid. Yeah. And so that's why I like it. It's just nostalgic more than oh, anything nostalgic. else. Nostalgic, that's we, nice. We, we love some nostalgia. Man, well, did you know that that orange vanilla flavor, as well as that watermelon flavor that we just talked about, I think peach. Oh, I'm, I'm eyeing for a treat right now. Oh. Wow, wow Barry, that top tier. That's a top tier. I will give you Orange that. Orange Villain Swirl and Peach. Yeah. And. One more. Can you guess? You're not going to guess. No. It's Raspberry <laughs> Lemon. I would not have guessed that. You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All of them are available as part of the Air Up Fave 5 pack, where basically you get a sampler platter of all the different flavors, top performers all across the board, so you can find out which ones you like. I like all of these except for orange vanilla swirl. That's fair. Raspberry lemon's a banger. Watermelon, I'm like, ugh, I guess I'll try it. I usually don't like watermelon flavored things. And then I tried it and now it's like my go-to. There you go. That and a lime I have, which is not in the Fave 5 pack, but is it's also a, very good. Solid choice. Now, I, I went with the peach first. It's That is an absolutely solid choice. It's great. Uh, but anyway, Yes, I will say that ever since Air Up, my water consumption has gone through yes, the roof. Yes, exactly. It is wild how That's different a... the before and after of my drinking water is. Because I, for years, wanted water to actually be a thing that I can incorporate nicely into my everyday life. And I just, I, I, it wasn't exciting. It wasn't no, good. No, it was boring. But this is like, it tastes good. 
it like feels good for my body. Yeah. And when I get bored of a flavor, you, you know, if I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm on a, I'm on a break. I can either pop it down and the flavor goes away. Absolutely. Boom, it tastes like water again. Or I just pop it off and it's like, oh, I just want to flip back to, you know, lime again or whatever. And boom, there it is. Absolutely. And that's the thing. I flip through like between these two meetings. I go through about two bottles of these every meeting. And Matt yeah. has said how many meetings we have during the week. So I am suddenly very hydrated. No, <laughs> meetings are a great time to stay hydrated. And that's the reason I actually got the, the jumbo bottle. There you I'm go. Like, I was going through these so fast. Yeah. That or yeah. I was going through those so yeah, fast. Yeah, I probably should look at getting the jumbo bottle because that it's is... Great. It also stays cold for a really long time. There you go. Good stuff. Not that the water is in there for long enough for it to Just stay cold, though. <laughs> like, like, actually, this is... Fun fact... Uh, before I came down here to shoot this, this was up next to my bed because I fell asleep with this next to my bed last night. Yeah. And I drank like half of it before I like passed out out of pure exhaustion. And then, <clears throat> and to bring it down for this, mm. the shoot, still cold from last night. There you go. That's impressive. That's impressive. It's, I know. It's impressive. But I'm just thinking about that. I'm like, no, wait, that is actually really yeah, impressive. Because we, we are midday the next day. And yeah. It is, yeah. It's impressive. That's great. So, you know, air up. Great product. And you know what? You can save money by getting the free Fave 5 pack, which has some discount that Ash is going to let me know about right now. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> Let me tell you about this cool and spunky discount. What's free spunky? Fave 5. You get, guess what you get? It's the free favorite five pack. That's right, y'all. You're getting the berry. You're getting the peach. You're getting that orange and vanilla swirl. And if you flip over those two <laughs> orange ones right there, that's correct. All right, we're getting the uh, raspberry lemon and the watermelon. That's right, y'all. Those five single pods just for you for the price of free just by using the code. Arch is so thankful for us. We rock. And you know what else rocks? Air up. Thank you for sponsoring this episode. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. More meat. More meat. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Meat. meat. Oh, yeah. Get out of yeah, here. That's right, brother. We're getting meat on the menu. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Thank I appreciate it. Uh, the impression of famous wrestlers from the 1980s. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to impersonate any wrestler, it's got to be a famous wrestler yeah, from a, the 1980s. A macho man or a, a, or a Hulk. Or, or a Hogan yeah. of some form. A, a, a man or a Hogan. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Right? They did have the same voice. They, yes, they? they did. But like one of them, oh, yeah, one of them brother. said brother. One, one of them said brother. brother, which is Hulk Hogan. And the other one was just like, I'm one, macho man. Have you seen that video where he's like, He's showing off his stage magic. No. And, he, and he's, uh, it, not actual stage magic, but he's like. <laughs> the, the, he's showing yeah, off they're, the craft. They're, they're like, and the scene. What, my, Macho Man, what do, you, what do you think about this? And he's like, the cream <laughs> rises to the top. And he's like, the cream. Wait, really? Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. And it's like a little McDonald's. Like, <laughs> yeah. I would love if he broke character or you like had a normal interview with him and he was like actually just like a Shakespearean British actor the whole time. <laughs> oh yes. I, I've, I adopted the role of Macho Man many years ago. The Macho Man. The, the, the Macho Man. Macho, but really he speaks to me and the core <laughs> testosterone driven masculinity that we are trapped in in society these days. It's an Do you hear me? <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh okay. <laughs> Yeah. Amazing. And that, my friends, is how you do the game theory voice. <laughs> Lord! Yeah, and you just turn into Macho Man. Yeah, that's right. For a minute, you slap, snap into a Slim yeah. Jim and you turn into Lord. <laughs> that's true. Uh, music Man on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're going to be watching Music Man. We're going to be solving some lore. We're going to be talking about FNAF, but not today. Today we're talking about Vita Carnus. Vita Carnus. Indeed. It's super interesting. Totally, like, legitimately original. Like... <laughs> Second yeah, no, I, I was, I like, it, it felt, it really felt very like sarcastic, and I was like, no, like, that's actually not the direction I'm trying to go in. It's like, a, legitimately original, the, like the really original, <laughs> totally. But like, actually, though, no. <laughs> right? I'm glad that you clarified. Yeah, because like, the way you were saying, I'm like, I know he likes this series. Yeah, like, like the bit started going in a direction yeah. I didn't want, and I was like, no, correct, correct, correct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're, we're continuing Vita Carnus. If you missed part one, uh, that is up on the channel. Uh, to summarize, basically, this is uh, a creepy and all horror series, go figure, um, talking about the world being taken over by these, like, meat creatures. Uh, there's yeah, we, this... we got, like, meat vines. Yes, like, we got crawling. meat vines. They're called the crawl, and they you've, crawl through. You've heard of earth. red vines, but in this universe, <laughs> they take on a very different <laughs> meaning. Yeah. 
And Twizzlers are better anyway. But Whoa! Hot take! Is it though? I don't know. Is it? Twizzlers I, versus I, Red Vines. I've never had a Red Vine. Okay. okay. All right. That'll be I a found taste it's, test. A, it's an East Coast, West Coast. Did you grow up on the East Coast or West Coast yeah. thing? That's what I've. I did not have yeah. a Red Vine until I moved to the West Coast. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they taste like plastic. <laughs> Woo! I mean. So Twizzlers also <laughs> taste like, let's be fair, call a spade a spade. <laughs> they both taste like plastic. It's just varying degrees of like, it's just hey. licorice. Yeah. Okay, okay, so there's the crawl, which is like red vines crawling through the ground. Yes. Then they have like little growths mm-hmm. called trimmings yep. that will like fall off and they look like adorable <laughs> question, question mark. mark yeah. Little meat creatures that scream. Yeah, like little sad tiny meat turtles. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, yes. sad tiny meat turtle. Yeah, sad, and tiny then you meat have turtle. the meat snake. Everyone's favorite <laughs> meat snake. Which feed on corpses and mm-hmm. grow yeah. and, and like claim the skulls of others as their own. It's yeah. really it's awesome. It, legitimately cool, interesting yeah. original content. And they have like the nerve membrane over top of yeah, them. Yeah, that's like their brain. Their, yeah, which is cool. So did you find meat snakes funny, Ash? <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> I won't lie about that. Yeah. No. They are funny. Just a dog. I, I find them funny. Yeah. Funny little creatures, the meat snake. Snap into a meat snake. Um, snap into your meat snake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, I just need the big, like, hat. Like, big pink bedazzled hat, and I got it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, with that being said, uh, last time we left off, we were at, what was it? The Mimics. Yeah, so we were so we had a couple episodes here where we're like, oh man, thank goodness, it's a series where we're <laughs> not dealing with imposters and clones and AI generated people that look like other or robot people or whatever. Yeah, they're not copying anybody. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, and now we're at the mimic. So cautiously optimistic, but we'll see how they yeah. handle it. Whenever I see the word mimic, all I think about is Dungeons and Dragons. That is like the most famous. <laughs> Of course, D and D. I know what? it. Like me of all people. What? Yeah, you, me and Jason, right? You think of D and D? I know. Wow. A true story. Shock. We were at dinner the other night, and I was, <laughs> Go for it. we were on completely opposite ends of the table. Yeah, we were having a big team celebration yeah. dinner <laughs> for Style Theory. Hitting million. Go subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And I, off in the distance, I hear Matthew say. Dungeons and Dragons. And I was like, huh? What? It hey. was. It was literally <laughs> like a, a dog whistle had gone off. And the dog was like, <laughs> what? What? what was, what was the, I, said it was the cocktail party? It's, it's called the cocktail yeah. party effect, yeah. Um, so basically the human brain so, like has undercurrent like sub-processing happening all the time in the world around us. Mm-hmm. And so you're engaged, like uh, you're engaged with the conversation that you're having, but your brain is constantly listening for things that stimuli that might be more relevant to you mm-hmm. or stuff that like you need to pay attention to. And it's usually like your name. That's why your name stands out in a crowded party when people are yeah. talking. It's like, does someone say my name? And you and you can hear it, right? Um, that's where like the phrase, like your ears are burning because someone's talking about you. Yeah. It's like, oh, I could hear someone talking because I'm primed to listen for my name. For you, apparently, it's, it's your name. And Dungeons and Dragons. And Dungeons and Dragons. Well, Lee sounds like so many different That's words. That's actually interesting. That it, uh, I, I used to do that, like, where Quickly. I would feel like people, yeah, or yeah. like, please. Oh, please. Yeah. So actually, it's kind of. So actually, out. you so are. So actually, I, I just care name. more about D&D. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So to get your attention, I shouldn't be like, hey, Lee. It should be like, hey, Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, what's up? Whoa, hey. Oh, hey. hey. Hello. <laughs> D&D. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, mimics in that series are like. Like these amorphous blobs yep. that can turn into anything. Okay. And when you touch them, they eat you. <laughs> oh. And you like get stuck to them. Ooh, okay. And like the really famous image is, oh, it's a chest where, oh, it, it, the chest oh. opens and there are teeth and eyes everywhere now and it like bites Wait you. a minute. <laughs> that, that stuff is also in like Dark Souls and- Did Dark Souls rip off Dungeons and Dragons? Well, everything ripped off Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, yeah, at this point, dun- there's so much stuff in Dungeons and Dragons. Like- it's also in Final Fantasy and- Wait a minute! Did Stranger Things rip off Dungeons <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course it did. They're like, the whole plot of Stranger Things is like, here's a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Yeah. Word for word, here you go. Cool. Uh, so should we hop into it? Let's do hop it. Hop into it? Hop into it? Hop into it. Yeah. Hop into it. Prepare your meat snakes, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping in to Mimics. Vita Carnis. Again, by uh, Dillian Colloy. Darian. Uh, Dorian? Darian. Darian Quilloy is what it looks like to me. Quilloy. So if you have not 
checked out the videos, please support the channel, uh, show some love to someone who is doing some awesome things on the platform. Now, without any further ado, I clicked the wrong button. That's theater mode. I know, it's theater mode. Why? why? to Darian, I'm sorry that we messed up your name like four consecutive times. <laughs> I thought I said Darian the whole time last time. Did I, think, I not? I thought I did. I think you did. You can go back in and like... Darian. <laughs> Darian. Check it'll... out this awesome creator, Darian Quillor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> it'll, it'll just be like all the ADR lines from <laughs> Ant-Man Quantumania. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, fam! Viewer discretion is advised with flashing lights. The okay, mimic. oh, mimic. The mimic is a bipedal creature with uncanny similarities to human. I can't. Oh, wait, they turned off. Oh, fine. We'll go back. Creature with uncanny similarities to humanoid anatomy. I would say they so. They greatly yeah. <laughs> resemble humans without skin, with added exaggerated features. These features in yeah, no, without without exaggerated features. We're not saying the we're not saying the like large goo goo eyes and the jumbo mouth here and, is and the arms that go down to his <laughs> the, like, like knees the branch like fingers Shins. I, I don't know <laughs> I've met some long fingered individuals but I, but like we're we're talking about some that's that's double the length of your hand man they, they would be an excellent pianist <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no exaggerated feature. So this, right, this is... Yeah, totally normal. Not, I mean, this is not a mimic. silhouette from the other one. The, no, no, what they're, they're testing you, right? This isn't a mimic. Oh. This is just this an is just arbitrary Steve. stock image. Yeah, this is, this is just normal, you know. Conclude. Extended finger length. Long, exaggerated features. They greatly resemble humans without skin. With added exaggerated features. With added exaggerated With features. added... With added, we were making fun of nothing. We were we were making fun of the bad closed captioning. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> you turn yeah, on you the closed caption. Gotta add your own captions, right, guys. True. Add your captions. These features include extended finger yeah. length, longer limbs, See? bulging, empty eyes. Good and job. Your most prominent feature: a wide, teeth-filled smile. Wow! Look at us. We figured out all the things that were exaggerated. <laughs> Identified the differences in the picture. Well done. <laughs> Although it resembles a happy face, this is due to coincidence, and is only how their facial structure is shaped. It is constantly in pain and torment. The maw of the mimic contains much more teeth than it humans, deep and their teeth is comprised almost entirely of incisors, with some oh. canine and premolars in the back. How, how are you going to chew? Oh, okay, gonna, if you have a couple. A in couple in the back. <laughs> All incisors? Really? A couple? Incisors are just your front ones. <clears throat> Those are your, like, rabbit teeth in the front, aren't they? Canines are the sharp ones that are used for biting and tearing of meat. Yeah, like... And molars are the chewing ones. Those are the herbivore teeth. But canines are the ripping, biting, tearing teeth. So a mouthful of incisors is actually kind of, like... Not know, great. It's not, not, not the best. Like, if you had told me it's a mouthful of canines, it's like, oh, okay, that's... Oh, that would make sense, because it's It's all the, the sharp meat. Teeth. It's the meat teeth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The meat teeth. Right, the meat teeth. You know, insides. It's just like, oh, so they're just a that, bunch that of would, rabbit, is... rabbit people. That is uncomfortable and uncanny, though. It, it is just uncanny. Saw, like, like a whole mouthful of the really thin, like, thin sh like yeah. flat teeth. You're like, oh, all right, cool. This is tooth composition is ideal for biting down onto meat and swallowing Chuck's hole. Is it? Chuck, it's, Chuck, it's, it's Chuck's I hole. It's ideal for swallowing Ooh. Chuck's Oh, poor Chuck. I feel, I feel bad for I Chuck. I hope his meat snake is okay. <laughs> his hole, his hole's being swallowed, but his meat snake's doing fine. Oh no! <laughs> Poor Chuck. Poor Chuck. Rest in peace, Chuck. Who is Chuck in the lore, though? Right. That's, that's this the is the next the thing Prince. to find out. Prince Chuck. It is Prince Chuck. Prince Chuck's hole. <laughs> oh. oh, the closed captions are really doing us favors today. Yeah, the, honestly, really unlocking the content the, makes itself. Really, really unlocking the secret <laughs> lore of this one. Who is Chuck and what's so special about his hole? <laughs> Let us know down in the comments who you think Chuck is. <laughs> that's that's a title for you. What's the deal with Chuck's hole? <laughs> Film theory, colon. <laughs> <laughs> Vita Carnis. Yeah, in parentheticals. <laughs> Asterisk shocking. You will cry. <laughs> Not clickbait. Number seven will shock you. <laughs> for reals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A mature mimic's diet is comprised yeah. entirely of human flesh. Great, great. It feels. I feel like we escalated very quickly. Right, it <laughs> went from like peaceful meat <laughs> snake to oh yeah, only eats human flesh. Okay, 
Yeah, like, like oh, this is actually kind of useful because yeah. it, it gets rid of like dead bodies, like, yeah, dead bodies, and like bad meat and, and like and leftover skeletons stuff from, like or the whatever, butcher. Yeah. And yeah. Now it's like, oh yeah, this hunts and kills humans. Right. <laughs> I like also that this is creature what three? Yeah. At this so point, where do we go from here? <laughs> yeah, where's the escalation at this point? This it's is like... a meat planet that eats <laughs> other planets. <laughs> The Vita Carnage planet just comes in, <laughs> opens up. It's like Pac-Man. Just, oh. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Amazing. <laughs> right? It did. We escalated very quickly in this series. Okay. Yep. Creepy. Because of this thing. Oh, wait. They did a smash cut. I guess I just got to double check. All right. So we're like right there. Yeah, did anything happen? I don't think anything happened. I do think yeah. it was just. Uh, would, would you? I think it, music started. To, something started to swell. Like just. I think it was just jump scare. Because yeah. yeah. Something. Whoa! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh! Spooky music. Of this, they are found solely around human populated areas. Not in California. I was gonna say. <laughs> Not in the West. In the U.S. West Coast, you're fine, but when you get up into Canada, yeah. watch out. <laughs> right. What? Like, yeah, California missing a big opportunity there in California. Just saying, when it comes to population, like, honestly, areas, you would all, you would probably just fit in in right. Los Angeles, right? Yeah, it's fit. <laughs> yeah. Hello, it's fellow a, humans. Yeah. Oh, it's a fashion statement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that okay. cool meat outfit that guy's wearing. The meat dress. Oh, meat. Lady dress. Gaga really influenced. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This totally fits in. Populated mm -hmm. areas. India. Okay. That India, makes sense. That in makes China sense as well. In Japan, I feel like we're missing really out, like, in a Japan. lot of people. Yeah, right, right, Japan, man. But only like that little bit of South Korea, though. Right? It's an interesting distribution curve. It makes sense that there's not Is a whole... that Japan? What? Yeah. Here? That? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was like lower. I mean... I mean, the map does look a little like... I was going to say, the map seems like it's been... Uh, and, and I feel like that's generally a thing where like yeah. I have also thought that. Shouts to Simon Stallenhog, by the way. Yeah, from last time. But like no, it's closer to Korea why than China. Why, why did I do that? That was a fool. That was a fool's errand. Why did I click Staples? On this one? That was easy. Yeah. Why did I click? That's on the this second one? time that's come. Up. They they really want us to know how easy it. Oh my gosh! They really want us to know how easy it is. Yeah, it's it's right there. So I think what is. They just made it like kind of like thick and like super connected, and that's why I was like. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I think it's, it's just a distal. Yeah, yeah, it's it's there. It's just like kind of a. <clears throat> the map looks a little funny. How you think? There you go. How to draw creepy pictures. Okay. The mimic's life cycle is made of three stages. In the first stage, a young mimic separates from the crawl. Okay. They closely resemble their trimming relatives, yep. but are thin, sleek, and only have Ooh, four dog. appendages. In yeah. this stage, Not as cute. the young mimic no. will hunt small animals, moving on to larger and larger as they grow. This is concerning. Once large this, enough, this is bad, it bad will be bad news. Bad news into the next stage of life. Bad news mimic. Once yeah. fully transformed, it will resemble the description mentioned in the beginning. Okay. Its hunting style changes and becomes much more complicated. It now stalks and feeds only on humans. Did you move the cat? It will locate yeah, like human populated area Just and to begin be only yeah, on humans. Okay. It will locate human oh, populated whoa, yeah, there was area a right and begin there. its oh, search. Looked like it. Begin it. Hold locate up. human no. stalks and feeds only on humans. I'm gonna look like a fool. No, it wasn't. Hey, I, I, thought, a... I thought I saw yeah, something okay. too. Oh, okay. It's it's just the comparison that was like there before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's more of a lingering frame than a flash frame. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. We'll locate human populated area and begin its search for an easy target. To blend in, it may use objects to conceal itself. These include clothing, mannequins, and furniture. What? Uh, <laughs> so okay. I'm imagining with these long, exaggerated limbs, like, yeah. it would, like, come up to, like, there. Yeah. <laughs> like, <Right>. at max. <laughs> like, like, I am totally normal man. Yeah, don't worry. How's he... My bigger question, how's he using a mannequin to disguise himself? Is he, like, hiding uh, maybe, inside like, like, the mannequin? Like, I was thinking maybe, like, alongside the mannequins, like, in a store. <laughs> yeah. Or something. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> He's in like the local Macy's, <laughs> the kids section with like a or, little baseball or, cap. Or if it's inside the mannequin, can we really not escape any analog horror <laughs> no. that like 
<laughs> where we're inside a creepy humanoid uncanny thing. I also love the the the, the armchair. Like he's hiding inside the armchair. It reminds me of um shoot, who was the magician on YouTube back in the day? Uh, uh, Ma- Magic of Rahat, I think it was. I am unfamiliar with this. Uh, I believe it was Rahat, I think was his name. Um, but he was, like, in the era of prank channels, but he was more of a magician, so his pranks were more like magic tricks. I disappear, or whatever. And one of them, or I think a, a popular series of his, was him d- literally disguising himself as furniture, and then <laughs> popping out and surprise. Like, he had... <laughs> I, I like think a transformer, kind of, yeah. Like one of them was he had a seat cover that he would sit in his car, and like I've he could still that drive that. And then he would go through the drive-through, and they're like, "Wait, where'd the person go?" And they're like, "Bah, I got you!" And ah, you know, I, I've seen those compilations, but like, it, it's with the X Files theme, yeah. and it like drives up, and like the the, the poor yeah. fast food workers just like, <laughs> yeah, I know. Poor- Poor fast food workers, man. Like, when you get hired on, at this point, restaurants need to be like, you will also almost guaranteed be put into some, <laughs> a, a YouTube some video YouTube somewhere. video at some point. You gotta be comfortable with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Beast is gonna be rolling through there 10,000 times in a day. Sorry. It's gonna happen. All right. So he's, uh, so he's hiding in the chair. Once a target has been found... The mimic will observe its prey and learn its routine and when it is most vulnerable. Okay. This is typically when the human is asleep at night. That's how I sleep. Like, <laughs> hovering off of the ground. I was going to say, I've heard of side sleepers, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Woo! Once the prey is within position, the mimic will advance silently until it is close enough. The mimic will then execute and immediately begin consumption. Sure. You don't really Once have to censor anything. Has... It's it's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. It's... Oh wow. no! This is very realistic. <laughs> Dramatic <concerned>. recreation. <laughs> Dramatic reenactments. Had its fill, it will leave the scene a fair distance away from the human population Ooh. and begin to digest its meal. Cool. Uh, what station. What is this? Stationary mimic found outside of town, presumably digesting last night's meal. Man, Artemis. <laughs> He's like thinking real hard. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Oh man, that was a good meal. Right, that was. That was he's, he's got like a food coma now. Yeah, I love the fact that Artemis is also brave enough. Be like, oh, here's this creature that it, I know it murders people, <laughs> actively consumes people. Okay, that's a, that's another name that's popped up. Artemis times. has come Spider up. Spider Artemis. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I wonder, real quick. Although, yeah. I wonder if it goes out into the wilderness. And it's standing there because it's like maybe reconnected with the crawl. Yeah. And it's like Ooh. transferring yeah, like it's energy into, back into the, like, whatever lines. it's connected to. It's the circle of life, man. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. I, 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 was trying, I, was, I was trying to think of the next like set of lyrics and yeah. could not. It moves us so. all <laughs> through despair go. and hope, <laughs> through faith and love, till we find our place. On that it's the circle of life. <laughs> Two lines too early on the path unwinding. No, it's, <laughs> it's the circle <laughs> of life. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> There's no the case that a human is yeah, awake. A it's mimic like will use a variety this. of sounds to either lure or startle prey into cornering themselves. Huh. Once Boom. a human is in place, oh. it will swiftly attack and kill the helpless target. <laughs> So really, uh, oh hey, I got on a freeze frame. So really, it's it'll t- attack you when you're sleeping, or just not. <laughs> it's yeah. like, it'll attack you when you're helpless, or it'll just attack you. <laughs> it's one of the two. Yeah, honestly, you should probably just stay away. Right. Oh, okay. We got a spooky flashlight. I'm assuming these are freeze frames. Oh no, this is actually yeah, the continuation like of the video. video. Oh, okay. Place. It I found, I found attack secrets. And kill the helpless target. <laughs> Just watch the damn video, man. Ooh. Ooh, hello. More classic analog horror. Right? This reminds me of Hi, I'm Mary Mary. Turn off. Damn, I need to turn off the flashlight. Turn off the flashlight. Nope, it's not helping you. Unless it is literally blind to light. Don't worry, this small, thin door will protect me. Uh, 
I disagree, closed captions. I don't hear music. <laughs> Wait for it. Um. Um. <laughs> the closed captions are like, is anything happening? Should I, should I be doing something yeah. right now? Um, <laughs> that, dot, dot, dot. That wasn't it translating the video. That was the closed <laughs> captions themselves speaking to us, being like, uh, am I missing something? You guys seen this? <laughs> Get out of there, girl! <laughs> you best not be moving from here. If this is where you parked it, you're parking it all night. <gasps> oh! Oh! Ooh, that's really cool. Oh! Don't turn... Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh, jeez! I did not expect that at all. Oh, that was really yeah, was, good. That was really good. That was yeah. really good. That was a legitimate jump from Matt, guys. He yeah. kicked the table. Oh my gosh, I, okay? I did. I like broke the table. <laughs> Whoa. I did not see that. Like, I'm like, oh, cool. They're doing like the creepy hand thing. And then, oh, wow. They, they went up to like creepy. That was like, like these sorts of analog horror stuff, especially from channels this yeah. small, yeah. can oftentimes feel cheap. Yeah, sure. And that, and that is not a, a, no. a, a bash on anybody. No, no, no. To create really creepy stuff that sometimes Kate yeah. like takes money and like this did not feel that way at all. That no. was a great prop. No. Or a great effect. Right. I assume it's a prop, it looks the hand has to be a prop. Why do I can't, that, that looks almost so, looks like, like a doll. That looks so thing. good. Yeah. This looks so good. Oh, oh, oh it it's, is. it's definitely a physical thing that they just like. Yeah. That is so scary, man. That's really, really good. Oh, physical props, man. Yeah. That's nice. It, it's nice it makes some, a difference. It does. It makes a big difference. Oh, that's great. Like, <laughs> that got me. That got me good. I did not see that coming. Completely into the other end of the spectrum. They, for the Mandalorian, yeah. they make Grogu look like a real prop. Like, right. with the CG. So cool. Because that is so much more effective. Yeah. Because we've been trained over decades right. and decades to react to that. Yeah. And I love when horror... Incorporates right? that. Pra I mean, practical effects, man. <clears throat> it does. It does wonders. You know, it's so nice to see things happening in in a real world because us as humans, like we can tell. Yeah. You know, like no matter how good your CGI is, you can tell there are certain things. You know, everyone in the aftermath of Top Gun Maverick was like, "Oh, this felt this substantial felt because they did." Yeah, it, this <laughs> felt substantial and real because they did. It wasn't just like, "Oh no, I'm in the plane now." Ah, yeah. It was like, "Oh no, I'm actually like." Acting Which, through um, being in a plane. Amazing achievement in directing, by the way. Because so once good. I got up in the air, the director was like, "All right, guys, yeah. like I, <laughs> right, I can't do anything." <laughs> right. It's 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 really impressive, you know, for as big and mainstream mainstream blockbuster, <laughs> yeah. billion dollar movie. Like, no, the filmmaking that was done in that movie, really solid. Yeah. Like, really, really good stuff. This was scary. Also, <laughs> very, very good stuff. Oh, was that? I think that was a. Uh, yeah, I think it was just, just the the, the wing frame. frame. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the, the next stage of the mimic's life cycle Ooh, there's has another two one. potential morphs it may develop into. If a mimic has a consistent supply of food, it will develop more human-like features. Oh. It will grow skin, hair, and by the end will look nearly identical to a human being. No, oh, here we I go. Like it now can blend entirely into civilization. Oh, uh, it's G. It's a it's a generation of storytellers raised on G mod <laughs> imposter. <laughs> But it raised on prop hunt. Yeah, prop hunt. It's, it's, that's it. This, this is why. That this is, this that is, is like a fascinating thing. observation, though. Like, what about current society has made that mm -hmm. such a common thread in these sorts of horrors? I mean, it's it is like if if you look at I took this my I've, I've mentioned this in the live stream, so I won't yeah. linger on it. But like I took this if my last class of college was history of horror, and it looked at how horror is so indicative of the fears of any given time yeah. period. And how you had like alien and, and mutations around the time of like atomic science testing, and you had um, uh, like other like sorts of aliens and 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 Im imposters and this and that during like I'm scared of foreigners and I you know mm -hmm. there's xenophobia because I'm afraid that my neighbor <clears throat> might be you know secretly spying on me during the era of like uh, the Red Scare and stuff like that. Yeah. And so over time, you see the fears of a culture indicated by common threads in their horror movies. And so, yeah, to your point, like, what is it that 
right now there is such a period of time where it's like this is a robot human. This is a meat human. This is a <laughs> imposter among human. us. Yeah. This is a I, whatever. I wonder maybe just immediate thought, and I'm not trying to be the the cranky old man, yep. but like like social media and the fake. Yeah, this is my that is the exact thing yeah. that my yeah. brain would yeah. do. Yeah, no, this is this is my fake self versus <clears throat> this is my real self. Yeah, you're also coming up with a lot of. I mean, right now we're in the, in the thick of it, right? Like AI art versus yeah. human art, right? Like what is that stuff's getting scary. Good. What is, what is written by an AI? What you know. Was this written by an AI? Was it written by a human? Does it matter? You know, are the AI smarter than us? Are they mimicking us perfectly? Like, right now is almost the culmination of all of these fears yeah. that have come up. Like, wow, technology is getting really good. Should I be scared of this? Hey, social media, people are impostering themselves or whatever. Like, there's their Rinsta and their Finsta, their fake Instagram and their real Instagram. You know, like, who is what? What is real? all this fake stuff, and now you're at this other point where now computers are throwing yeah. more questions in the mix. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I think that is a big part of it. And then also, yeah, you have the Gmods of the world where it's <laughs> like, yeah, let's do prop hunt. And I don't, I, is that a barrel or is that someone who's waiting to sneak up and sneak attack me or whatever, you know, so. Lure other humans more effectively. Yeah, the once, once they're in that, we do this done. When so. a mimic receives an overabundance of food. It will grow into a larger, more evolved hunter. It turns into the crying it's child. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> of food. It will grow into a larger, more evolved hunter. That <laughs> a larger, mm. more. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> hey, it's me. Charlie I'm... is finally happy. Right. Right. Thank goodness. At long last. <laughs> its proportions will increase in length. Hey, you guys! <laughs> the elder mimic. And its humanoid features will fade away. It grows a thick, dark coating of a flexible skin, which is highly durable, and increases in strength the more the elder mimic consumes. Really? This excludes the face, which is now coated in a pale pink skin. He just looks like the puppet now. The, the marionette yeah. from FNAF, like, yeah. The mimic's teeth have also moved deeper into the mimic's throat, Ooh, that's leaving cool. its mouth that's a wild. toothless grin. It Ooh, it's uses got two the fits dark fits. hue of its skin to hide seamlessly within a dark environment. Oh. Its skills have also been heightened. This makes an elder mimic one of the most efficient predators on the planet. Because of the obvious threat this poses on humanity, yeah, sure. nations around the world have released instructions on how to be able to fend for yourself in a mimic encounter. Oh, great. Here are the instructions. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. One. Here, here are the instructions. None. <laughs> it's like Mandela. That reminds me a lot of uh, Mandela catalog, where it's like if you see an alternate, just sorry, give up. yeah, yeah it's, like, it's done. Lay down yeah. and cover your head. Right. If going out alone, if your location is known to have mimics or there have been mimic sightings. Okay. Two. If you encounter a stationary mimic, seemingly unfazed by your presence. Quietly leave the location and alert your local authority. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Just gonna back this one all the way up. Do, 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 don't mind me. Three. If pursued by a mimic, get yourself into a position where you are able to flee. Mimics <laughs> will rarely attack if a person has a clear escape route. Okay. Oh yeah, because that likes the corner. Right, that's the corner. Yeah. In the event that you have been cornered by a mimic, roll into the fetal position. Protecting your neck, face, and vital organs from attack. Make as much noise as you can to alert any other people. So that draws them in and then it becomes a buffet. <laughs> and ooh, we're all gonna eat. Five. Start singing your favorite you music. Have a weapon. Do not use it. Oh. A mimic is fairly resilient, and any strikes or shots on a mimic is not effective enough to bring it down in time. Huh. Instead, That's use it as a barrier between you and the mimic to block any attacks. Wow. Six. All right. That's cool. I like that. In a situation where a mimic is hunting in the immediate area and is not aware of your position, hide somewhere low, like under a bed or behind other furniture. A mimic will not linger too long to search for prey. Oh, this and is just we'll waiting for on. like a fan made game of it. Yeah, Be right. safe and avoid any encounters with a mimic at all costs. Cool. Yep. Next up, the harvester. Oh, great. Oh, right. Yeah. I was going to oh, say, where, where do you go from here, man? <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, we, oh, we got Oh, and we got another creepy. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're back in the prince's cave, it looks like. But uh, the prince's yeah. sleep was long. He slept for what seemed like forever. forever. 
As he slept, the land around him changed and grew. It was unrecognizable from when the prince first arrived, but the sleep still needed... Right? Time, yeah, this, yeah. yeah, the sleep still needed time to heal the prince, much more time, but it kept the prince safe while he rested, guarding him from the elements as the land changed. Hmm. Interesting syntax. <laughs> is, is the... <clears throat> so obviously we're still assuming that this guy is the origin of all this yeah. like, meat vines, the red vines, if you will, um, the Twizzlers, and... <laughs> It's interesting that they're talking about how the land is changing. Like, I wonder if he's now like, I'm going to reset the world back to what it was. Yeah, maybe this is like a metaphorical sort of, like, like a, a, he's from some previous iteration mm. of civilization right. that was more <laughs> meat-y. Yeah, meat <laughs> Or just, like, more, like, in tune with nature, right? Yeah. And so if the, le- you know, humans have changed the <clears throat> land and are... Because, again, you you brought up, like, they're attacking a satellite. Dish. Oh, they're yeah, the technology. An and yeah. so I could see this guy maybe coming from, like, an older, more naturalistic kingdom or land or whatever, and the things that spawn out of him are coming to, like, reset the world back to what it was and, like, take out technology. Yeah. And that. that would be my guess. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Oh, chew. Oh, ugh. Oh, ooh, that's crunchy. It's, that's bold. Ooh, that bold. Ha ha! When you eat ribs, <laughs> <laughs> that that feeling when you eat ribs. <laughs> that's, that isn't actually footage of a mimic or anyone being <laughs> eaten. That is, that's, that's just Darian eating yeah, that's, ribs. That's him being like, oh, I got some leftover ribs. Because <laughs> let's be honest, the barbecue sauce. It goes everywhere. It goes everywhere. <laughs> Splat. And you're like ripping one off, and th- yeah, that's what it. That, that was the noise. Like <laughs> he's, he's really just trying to get like the extra like ma- meat that's yeah. like on the. <laughs> I, I feel like I gotta get this this off the bone, man. <laughs> Do the old bone scrape <laughs> against <laughs> your mouth full of incisors. Yeah, I was gonna say the incisors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> hey, this got scary. Yeah, this, like this got very scary. effectively so. Yeah, like, I w- I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of worried when it started going into the more yeah. traditional tropes. Yep. And then, oh wait, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, here's the thing: the the differentiation of of elder mimic very interesting. The uh, and even though it's a mimic <laughs> of a human, the fact that like it still looked like parts of it still look like that. I thought that was very effective. That was very good. <laughs> like uh, that comment oh. stages of mania. Normally, I'd be like, haha, cute. I want one. Like the. The trimmings, right? Yeah, <laughs> like right. no, that's we, real. Yeah. We, we've got uh, stages of mania. We have, you know what? Hashtag relatable. We've yeah. gone through the exact stages of this. Uh, my cherry blossoms are dying. Says I swear, if this doesn't blow up like the Mandela catalog, I'm gonna be mad. It is. It, this is very good. This is very very good. Should we continue? Let's go with uh, what was it? The harvesters. Let's check it. This is fun. I like this series. It's graphic continent still. Oh, <laughs> you know why would you fix it? At a certain point. The Harvester. Okay. Congregenerator. The Harvester is a large, bulbous mass with a large amount of tendril spreading. (laughs) 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 Hashtag relatable. From the base. The bulb measures around three meters in height and two meters in diameter. That's pretty tall. Three meters? Yeah, that's taller than most people. That's like three meters in height? What, a meter is... Yeah, that's huge, man. Yeah, I mean, it's right 10 feet. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, that's 10 <laughs> feet. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> like, if a meter is 3 feet, that's 9 feet. Thank you. Thanks for doing the <laughs> Way to look at the screen, Matt. Good job. The tendrils, on the other hand, can extend up to 150 meters in diameter horizontally. Oh, jeez. 500 feet around? Oh, this thing is just like a big old meat trap, isn't it? Like a mushroom. The harvester is but, a specialized ooh, form of crawl that grows in a unique and deadly way. A harvester is created when a node that will grow into a harvester, instead of separating, continues to grow. Okay. Eventually, it will grow tendrils of its own. Oh. It uses the energy provided by its mother branch and expands its reach further. It- oh, interesting. We've got a mother <coughs> So this is not a standalone entity, but it is worth noting that there is now, they just dropped the lore of like mother they're, branch. They're, they're connected. I bet that all of them come from like a single progenitor. Yeah. It, it like, seems like that, right? But yeah, the fact that there's now a mother branch tells you that there are like certain very specific, very important tendrils relative yeah. to all the rest of them. 
its tendrils, hidden just below the surface of the ground. The harvester is equipped with two types of specialized tendrils. The first type is bulky and flat. Ooh, they lie that at all. Oh! 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 You like step on that and it goes. Oh yeah! Oh, that's terrifying. Just to the surface. These branches are lined on each length of the tendril with spines, extending in the shape of a bear trap. Yeah. On each side of the branch, those particular spines have a vein that feed into them that pump two types of venom. I like the scientific no. definition of they have a thing that goes into them. <laughs> they have a thing that goes into them that pumps venom, venom stuff. <laughs> like they, they pump of. mediocre Sony movies. <laughs> venom. Hey, how dare you? Earned over a billion dollars at the box office. Not great. Yeah, no. yeah. On one side, the spines can inject a neurotoxin. Which oh, a deadly neurotoxin. The system of whomever it is injected into causing sudden paralysis. The other side can inject an anticoagulant, which when injected, prevents blood cells from clotting. And so it like bleeds you out. Right? right? Yeah, so it's on um, yeah, once you're like pierced, you just go. And you're like yeah, yeah, you're just you leaking just like a out. Like, Yeah, you're I, just I, leaking like a like a runny water balloon. Ooh. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> what what are humans but runny water balloons? Right, what are we <laughs> but just a big old meat balloon? <laughs> That's a bulbous why. mass. A bulbous mass of meat balloon. <laughs> That's us. Whenever a large animal moves across the area oh, armed with these tendrils, the branches will clamp onto the animal and thrash violently. That Ooh. implies it like Once goes up. Right, I was going to say, yeah. it seems like, yeah. has been injected with both venoms. The tendrils will rest and the prey will immediately collapse. Oh, wonderful. The animal will be unable to move due to the paralysis and the wounds caused by the thrashing spines will not stop bleeding. Oh, great. All the prey great. can do is lie patiently until succumbing to blood loss. <laughs> Once the prey has bled out, the second type of tendrils come in. They lie below the spine equipped once. These branches are thick, but very sturdy. Yep. They share similar anatomy to the small branches of the crawl, equipped with organelle that absorbs nutrients. These tendrils sense the blood, and move their way to the surface and begin to absorb the vital fluid. Once mm -hmm. the blood has been like a, consumed... Like a big old meat yeah, straw. Like, how was it about to say? <laughs> like a straw made out of a hot dog. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, they really are using like every part of the buffalo yeah. here. Where it's like, oh, we have one thing that like eats the flesh. We have one thing that eats the bones. Yeah, right. We have we the have thing that eats the blood. blood. <laughs> drinks the blood. Oh, yeah, man. This is wild. I like this. I mean, I don't. This would be horrific and awful, and I hate all of it. But I like this as a... In concept. Yeah, in concept. It's like, oh, yeah, this is this is actually terrifying. You know what? And I know in episode one, we're like, what's the downside for all this? Yeah. Like, <laughs> delicious, wonderful meat. You know what? I think at this point, we've sufficiently yeah. decided that the trade-off is not worth it. Agree. Like, when there are mimics mm -hmm. hunting you and, yeah. and doing the whole creepy... Right. Yeah, yeah no thanks. Not okay. And, yes. al and also blood vines where it's like, oh, I'm on a nice, pleasant walk through a field. Yeah, right. Oops, I'm dead. Yeah, oops, <laughs> I got bear trapped by <laughs> some venom and stuff. <laughs> oh, no, the neurotoxins. <laughs> Not an anticoagulant. <laughs> Darn it, I hate when I'm attacked by an apex predator. <laughs> Sucks. Oh, it looks like wrap huh? around the yeah, like, like stuff's like wrapping yeah. around in now. body and begin to shuffle downwards. This movement loosens the soil and slowly pull the body oh. underground. Oh, it's convenient for burying. Once secure, the tendrils will continue to feed until there yep. is nothing but scraps. Okay. Mm -hmm. The nourishment absorbed by the tendrils will be sucked back into the main bulb of the harvester. Mm, slurp, slurp. This bulb houses <laughs> all the vital organs and the venom. Alistair's Angel, well done. Like, to avoid... All the various tendrils and bear traps in a hundred and what was it? A hundred and fifty meter? meter radius yeah, for five hundred foot. I really need to get this picture for my Insta. Let me go. <laughs> Let me just step around all these. Yeah, bear I gotta trap get tendrils. my internet points. Yeah, this this is for the clout, guys. This has gotten it for the clout. Glands that pump into the spines. The nutrients are then converted into usable energy. The remains underground decompose, providing a rich soil causing very prominent plant growth, Circle which then attracts life. more animals. A strange <laughs> behavior the harvester displays is its choice of diet. The spines will only activate on larger animals, Ooh. allowing smaller ones to pass by unaffected. Oh, that's nice for the bunnies. And I guess like uh, that attracts bigger predators right. too. That yeah. makes sense. No, that's really smart. <clears throat> I I like a lot of the details. And, and again, like I know that we've been saying a lot of things that we like, which is good. It's, it's great yeah. to talk about the things that we like. It's really exciting. 
but like the small details around like, hey, the bones then decompose and refresh the nutrients in the soil, and so now there's more plants, which then lures things back in. Like that it, level of thought yeah, around exactly. the world, the monster's behavior, and how all of this fits together is really smart. Th this whoever made this clearly has like either an interest or an education or just a general knowledge of like this is how an ecosystem would actually yeah. function it's if cool. I need if I put this yeah. weird fake meat bulb <laughs> yeah in it yeah no it's it's true right and as a result you get something that feels more realistic more believable like yeah. I see how all this fits together and it's cool I like that it's spring. not just like scary monster do thing. It's like no scary monster has figured out how it is a evolved <laughs> life form, and this is why it's able to to wreck us all. Yeah, which is awesome. Will also not activate on some species of bird. There are a couple <laughs> theories well, as to why this happens. So. <laughs> one, it... that that is one of my favorite ridiculous conspiracy theories. Do you know this? Please tell me about oh, birds or cameras. Oh, it is this amazing, absolutely untrue. <laughs> completely fake like legitimately people actually believe this like <laughs> birds are like little government drones <laughs> are that are now? spying on everybody really yeah so of course the meat bulb wouldn't want a camera yeah but, right no why would they unless they, it, it is eating the technology in that case oh man why aren't, they, why aren't they doing that bird cameras huh Yes. Brilliant. Is it certain? Is it certain species? No, of just uh, every bird. All, All birds. birds. Yeah, I birds knew that real. Jason was scared of birds for a reason. Is this why? Jason would be? I, no, yeah, Jason's <laughs> terrified of birds. He hates birds. I'm gonna confront him now with this newfound knowledge. <laughs> gonna be like, Jason, are you? Do, do you? Do you believe this? Is this a thing, Jason? Like, How did you know? Like, oh man, let's have, sit down and have a heart to heart talk, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. We need to have a an intervention moment here, my friend. It could be that attacking smaller animals would cost too much energy for what they get in return, there, there's making another, it like, not worth the time. Yeah. Intelligent, yeah, design decision, so right? Like, yeah, no, that makes sense. No, we've, I mean, we—that's <clears throat> the sort of thing that we've critiqued, like Jurassic Park, in the past, where it's like, yeah. would a T. Rex yep. actually chase a human? It's not worth the caloric load. They're losing a lot of energy in that process. Same thing here, right? Like uh, a small animal is not worth the caloric load it takes to to eat it or to hunt it here. So makes total sense. I'm another could be that smaller animals may attract larger animals or predators yep, it. Nice. allowing a safe place where prey may thrive and lure more predators it's great it so truly smart. is astonishing although it is a spectacular creature it is also very dangerous what no huh. where is this one no <laughs> the harvester is decently rare only populating sparse areas in the northern hemisphere and woodland forests. Sparse, sparse, you know, sparse areas of like <laughs> all of the northern hemisphere. You know, yeah. Not very common, just all of the north. If you are stunned by a harvester, there will be no way of helping you, being that there is. <laughs> well, thanks for your brutal you, honesty there. You will be boned. <laughs> Amazing. Yep, yeah, you're just done. Sorry, bud. No cure, and fatality is 100% positive. Dang. Oh. Oh. Being that there is no cure, and fatality is 100% positive. Okay, here we go. Family attacked by... Harvester. While harvester... hiking. While hiking, yeah. Authorities refuse to handle the <clears throat> harvester, only putting up warning signs. You know what? Like, fair, though. Yeah, I mean, for the like, public... Like, what are they going to do? <laughs> yeah, for the public to be more careful. Uh, there's stuff at the top, too. I don't know if it's going to matter Okay, I, I feel like that would need to be, like, brightened, maybe. During a family okay. trip, a family of four, complete something, the ba -ba -ba family, her son. It's it's not going to be anything, like, pretty... Yeah. It'll, like, give us more information about this, but it's Like, the context like, of that case. Yeah, but it's yeah. not like, whoa, this is the lore, and it's solved now. <laughs> The best thing you can do is avoid encountering a harvester in the first place. Yep. If you are hiking, take note of any warnings or signs oh, saying nice. that there are harvesters around. If you also notice an abundance of lush, ground-dwelling plants in a forested area, Great. and there are no signs of wildlife, this is suspicious and you should leave the area. <laughs> this is suspicious. Yeah, right? It's like, okay, sure. Staying close to the base of large trees or rocks. Great. If you find yourself in the... I just... You know what? Nature's not worth it at that point. 
Like, like in, so. in this world, though, it's like... But, like, actually. Yeah, right. Like, like I, at a certain point. You're like, and also, like, apparently the cities are crawling with mimics. And... Right. You know what? I'm just going to go off live in a lake somewhere. <laughs> just, like, row out to an yeah, island. Yeah, like, live in, like, a boathouse. And watch the next one be like, <laughs> here, here is the boat mimic. Yeah. Here, <laughs> it's literally just a giant mouth that floats on water and <laughs> collapses in. Damn it! I thought it was a boat the whole time. The, lo- the water meat snake. <laughs> They're called water eels. Ooh. Or, I'm sorry, meat eels. Yeah, meat eels. <laughs> meat <laughs> leviathans. In the middle of a harvester ground, yeah, do right. not panic. Okay. Sudden movements may activate the tendrils and will inject you. Although a harvester is rather forgiving, do not risk any skittish movements. Okay. Remain calm. Okay. If you have any objects with considerable heft, like coats, backpacks, or full water bottles, Gently take that object and lightly toss it towards the bulb and away from your escape route. This will activate the spines on really? where the object lands, distracting the bulb for a moment. You will then slowly begin to do wide shuffles away from the bulb. <laughs> wide <laughs> shuffles! <laughs> Throw another object when you are certain you're just naked by the end of this. Away, um, but you're alive. Safe. Continue until you are completely sure you are out of harm's way. True story. Uh, when we did our trip to uh, Belize to check out the like real world yeah. Neverland, um, where they brought us out, and they're like, "This is the place that you talked about in the video," and I'm like, "This is awesome." Uh, and it was. It was very much like the Neverland that we talked about. It was cool. Um, in Peter Pan, but uh, we did a night tour of the jungle. Like it was a night tour of the rainforest. It was the scariest <laughs> haunted house I've ever been in. Except everything was real. It started <laughs> off. With, uh, like, our guide was, uh, there's so many stories I can tell about our guide. He was this incredible guy who had this history from living in the rainforest and just yeah. got a job out here, whatever. Um, but he started off with, can you climb a tree up to here? And he, like, pointed at the tree about, like, to here. And we're like, uh, we think so. Maybe. Why? And he's like, because that's how far you need to be up to be safe from, like, a crocodile attack. Or an alligator <laughs> attack. And... And we're like, oh, okay, yeah. And he's sure. like, no, no, but really. Yeah, no, yeah. And then he's like, no, <laughs> really. And then we proceeded to, you know, and, and he's like, you know, if they come at you, they're coming at you straight. So, like, wide, the wide shuffle thing made me think of this. Like, wide stance, climb a tree. And then we proceeded to walk through the jungle where he's like, oh, yeah, watch out for any snakes that might fall out because they're asleep. <laughs> and uh, there's a bunch of tarantulas over there. You want to check them out? Like, no, I'm no, not particularly. We're, we're Thank good. You. Thanks. <clears throat> yep. And yeah, then yeah. for the next hour, I was sweating profusely <laughs> and wishing I had never been there. In the yeah, first... man. It was like, fascinating. Like, it was great. Like, people who live in those sorts of areas, I respect so much because, like, I am. It makes. That sort of information makes me realize, man, I am weak. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I am, I am a soft weak. We are fodder for the harvesters. <laughs> Con- neurotoxin and consume yeah, me. People, people always ask, like, what would you do during the zombie apocalypse? Yeah. And I'm like, probably die. Yeah, right? let's, let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> I would curl up in a ball yeah. and resign my fate. You know, like, it's, it's done. Yeah, I, like, like, here, I would probably, like, go and sit... <laughs> right, like hide from the mimic and curl up in a ball in a corner and Play probably video die. Video games for yeah. as long as I can <laughs> until the power goes out. If I'm going down, I'm going out with Overwatch. <laughs> 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 All right, let's see what the last clip is. You may come out unscathed, but don't be too obnoxious, or you will be a harvester's next meal. Don't be too obnoxious. <laughs> he's just he's just grumpy. <laughs> yeah, don't annoyed. don't be a jerk. Yeah, don't be a like, jerk. Don't be a dick, Modok. <laughs> Next up is the host. Ooh, the host. Okay. Oh, there it is. Ooh, we got some spooky cave imagery now, it looks like. Oh, Ooh. yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, something something gave during a time of hardship. Something critters. Can you read it, Lee? Or no? Uh, outside the cave during a oh, time of hardship. Good job. I, I can't read that next line. Outside the cave during a time of hardship, something the sand critters, la- land critters, land, the critters were struggling to something, something, something. There was barely any food to something Consume. to go around. To go around, go around, I think you're right. Yeah, go around. They yeah. would go and gather and gather whatever they blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. Yep, and then it's kind of blurry at the end. Okay. They huh. look really cute, though. 
Yeah, but that, yeah. that you know what that legitimately reminds me of are the like the, the heartless enemies heartless from, from the King, very beginning of Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts before they were replaced with the nobodies <laughs> and then like and then division the, the, yeah the dream things and like, right the heartless were good enough man we could have explored more of heartless. Tom is freaking out right now really <laughs> Tom, because he's like Kingdom Hearts is his FNAF. I was gonna say cocktail, <laughs> cocktail party effect has happened for him. Yeah, but he's like like, 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 like away like, what. <laughs> <laughs> he pops in through the door right now. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> Does want to talk about the you can't, Dungeons and Dragons lore? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts lore? Uh, uh, what were we going to say about Kingdom Hearts, Ash? It sounded like you were you had opinions. I, I don't have a single opinion. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I thought I heard you like starting to say something. So. Well, I was thinking about Tom just like scurrying out of the airport <laughs> at the and mention. Be. What? Hello, everybody. It's me, Tom. Oh, he don't Hello. Know. <laughs> Man, I'm so... I like that. It's just My like... name's Tom. <laughs> Generically bad British. Pip, pip, uh, I'm, I'm apparently Cockney now. I was going to say, go sweep some chimneys and make some meat pies. <laughs> you sound like a more ruffled <laughs> Professor Layton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to solve a mystery. <laughs> Oh, the mystery it. of Edekarnas. Oh, that, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, how are we doing time-wise, Ash? Those were slightly longer ones, and we have been laughing a lot. So Yeah, I think we are around the traditional length of an episode. Are we okay. at time? Okay, that, that sounds good. Oh, man, Harvester. I, I, I really hope. So there's we, we get to watch these more, like watch, watch more of these. Host of influence, hashtag and influence, and then the monolith. Oh man, I've been. Oh, that, look, that looks just the silhouette looks really cool. It does. These these both look really cool. Actually, I'm very yeah. excited about both of these. I also so next time they're a little bit shorter, which is good because I really want to get into like the cooking, the cooking tutorials. demo. Maybe we can do a food theory about Vita Carne. <laughs> Like, Thicket creature. Sp oh, speed paint. Okay, this is actually just getting into this person's actual amazing art. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, this is this is actually like the stuff that they do. Um, Mimic you know. defense instructional tape. Whoa, twenty-one minutes. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hefty boy. Ooh. Species anomaly report. Oh, now we're getting into the live action. Oh, stuff no, now. now it's like trimming care guide. Like, do you have a pet? Yeah. Do you want to take care of your trimming pet? Oh, this is exciting. He looks like a frog, but wrong, and I want one. <laughs> I told you, squishmallows, squish, squishmallows. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think that's a good breaking point. Uh, hopefully next time we'll be able to speed through the last two of the actual documentary things and then maybe get into some of this world building stuff. We don't necessarily have to watch all of them. Yeah. This is its own thing. Like, that'll take a while. Uh, and then there's a couple... <laughs> Flavor enhancer. Flavor enhancer. Oh, bud. Okay. No wonder the mimics are after us. They're like, stop <laughs> eating us, dude. Stop. Just stop. 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 No, don't bite my turtle friend. Don't bite my meat snake. <laughs> Biting a meat snake is not fun. Never, don't do that. Never a good idea is to bite your meat snake. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. As always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!